I'm Vinny Politan. Great to have you with us here this hour for closing arguments. Uh, a big hour ahead. We're going to talk about uh, an array of cases. And it all begins uh, with a little girl named Harmony. Harmony Montgomery. Do you remember her? Five years old. There she is with Minnie and her glasses. There's baby. That was, uh, her, her mom got us these pictures. We'd been looking for these pictures. Then we had her mom on and finally uh, got to see uh, much more of what she looked like in life. Five years she disappeared at five years old. For two years she was gone. No one reported her missing until her mom finally did. Her mom was fighting some addiction problems, uh, was estranged from the father. They, were, they weren't together. He was in another state. Uh, he's now been charged with the murder. His name is Adam Montgomery. So he's been charged with the murder of Harmony, five-year-old daughter, right? Um, she hasn't been found. Body has not been recovered. It's incredibly tragic. Now, Adam Montgomery is a bit of a career criminal. The local cops, they all know who he is, arrest him all the time. Uh, a lot of drugs in his life, selling, using, all of that. Um, also had some weapons charges that he was convicted of. You saw it right here on Court TV. Well, well today was his sentencing. And, and while he's being sentenced for the weapons charges, we know every time we see him or think about him, we're thinking about Harmony and we're thinking about that case and the murder of that little girl. Well, today, Adam Montgomery mentioned Harmony and his upcoming trial in a statement during today's sentencing. This is all courtesy of WMUR. We have the footage. Let's take a look. So um, I understand that I was found guilty by a jury and I'm not here to dispute that at all. Um, the only consideration that I ask of you this morning is for you not to consider anything as it relates to the case regarding my daughter, Harmony. I did not kill my daughter, Harmony, and I look forward to my upcoming trial to refute those offensive claims. Okay, okay. Let, let me, let's just slow the roll there, Adam, for a second, okay? Don't bring up Harmony in the, in the sentencing, right? Well, why, why not? You were her father, and at a minimum... If we don't believe that you're the murderer, at a minimum, she's gone for two years and you did nothing to look for her. You wouldn't answer any questions to police when they finally found out she was missing and wanted to help find her. You wouldn't help. You didn't tell anyone she was gone. You didn't report her missing. So pretty much is fair game about your character. Anyhow, so um, Adam Montgomery, Weapons charges, sentencing, armed career criminal. That was the big one, right? Rifle and a shotgun. He's a career criminal. That's who the guy is. Somehow, some way, a judge gave uh, custody of, of Harmony to a literal career criminal. But that's uh, another story for another day. Receiving stolen property, theft by unauthorized taking or transfer. Uh, he was given 15 to 30 years on each of the armed criminal charges. He was given an additional seven and a half to 15 years for the theft charges, bringing his total anywhere between 32 and a half to 75 years in prison, pending good behavior. He'll be an old man when he gets out on these charges. But let's not forget, he's still facing more charges, the more significant ones, the important ones. Second degree murder, falsifying evidence and abuse of a corpse. Those are his pending charges. Now, for those of you who don't know the details of what is alleged here, Chanley Painter, Court TV legal correspondent, went through the affidavit and has more for us tonight. Kayla stated that on the day the Chrysler Sebring broke down, known to be December 7th, 2019, as discussed in further detail below, Adam Montgomery struck Harmony, which caused her death. Kayla stated that while living in the vehicle together, Adam was extremely upset that five-year-old Harmony was not saying when she needed to go to the bathroom and was having accidents in the car. Kayla stated that after each accident, Adam would get upset and would strike Harmony in the face and head with a closed fist. 
Kayla stated that on December 7th, 2019, prior to the vehicle breaking down, Adam struck Harmony in the face and head on three separate occasions because she had a bathroom accident. This happened while Adam was driving the vehicle. Kayla described that Harmony was in the rear seat on the passenger side and while Adam was driving, he turned his body and delivered sets of three to four blows with a closed fist to Harmony's face and head on three separate occasions over the course of a few minutes. Kayla stated that after the final blow, Adam said words to the effect of that he felt something or heard something when he hit Harmony and, quote, I think I really hurt her this time. I think I did something. Harmony began making a moaning type noise, which went on for roughly five minutes and then stopped. At no time did anyone stop or get Harmony medical attention as the result of this assault. Kayla said this happened in the morning while the family was on their way to Burger King on Route 3 in Manchester. And afterwards, the family returned to the parking lot of the Colonial Village Apartments. The family stayed at Colonial Village for approximately 20 minutes, during which time no one checked on Harmony. Kayla could not recall exactly what they did during this 20 minute time period. Kayla said that after approximately 20 minutes, the family left the Colonial Village apartments and shortly thereafter, their car broke down. Kayla said she thought the car died at approximately 8 or 9 a.m. According to the Manchester Police Department records, the car was broken down in the intersection of Elm Street and Webster Street at approximately 12.11 p.m. on December 7th, 2019. Kayla said it was at that time that she and Adam discovered that Harmony was not breathing and was deceased. Kayla stated that Adam went to the trunk of the vehicle, removed clothing from a black and red Under Armour duffel bag, and placed the lifeless body of Harmony into the bag. Kayla stated at no point did either of them have any conversation about getting any type of life-saving measures for Harmony and that Adam simply put Harmony's dead body into the bag and walked it back to the parking lot of the Colonial Village Apartments. What is he going to say at trial? What is he going to say? Is he going to, he's already going to be doing, right, like 32 to 75 years. It doesn't strike me as the guy who's going to end up with uh, good behavior and get out early, but maybe he does, right? Is he, is he just going to, sit there at council table and and leave it up to the prosecution to to prove the case or is it about what he said it was at his sentencing today where I didn't do this I love my daughter is he going to is he going to get up on the stand look the jury in the eye and tell him uh, that he didn't do it what's this trial going to look like 2 years 2 years nobody sees her and he says nothing Absolutely nothing. Star witness is going to be Kayla, his ex. It's going to be ugly, too. Let's bring in our think tank. Joining us tonight in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor, Al Wunsch III. Also joining us in Stamford, Connecticut, criminal defense attorney, Darnell Crossland. And in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, family law attorney, Jennifer Brandt. Great to see everyone tonight. Thank you for being here. Um, all right, Al, I, I heard him in court today. Bring up the name of his daughter saying, don't use that against me here today, Your Honor. Your Honor, don't use that against me here today. Uh, but the bottom line is, when it's time for the trial for the murder of his daughter, he's the one who had sole custody. He's the one who said nothing for two years while she was gone. He's the one um, that wouldn't help look for her. Like, what is his story going to be? That she ran away at five years old? Well, I, I don't know what the story is going to be. I think it was a stupid move on his part uh, to to be bringing her up in these circumstances. I mean, his attorney should have said, listen, the judge is not going to be able to take that into consideration. And he said nothing about the actions that he was being sentenced for. He wasn't saying he was sorry for You know why? Because he was guilty. He took, and he's a career he criminal. He did take responsibility. He did take responsibility. 
but to use that as a platform for himself to start, you know, basically testifying that he had nothing to do with his daughter's death, I thought was a little foolish on his part. Uh, and, and look, he still got whacked. I mean, 70 years, his sentences are uh, consecutive, not concurrent. And I mean, regardless of what happens in the next trial, he may never get out. And it may be guilty conscience on his part. That might be it. But I can't figure out why his attorney would have allowed him to speak like that. Uh, Darnell, does the fact that he's going to spend the re a, a huge part slash potentially the rest of his life behind bars change his approach in the case where he's accused of this beating death, of striking his daughter and just, you know, smashing her in the head, smashing the life out of her, and then carrying her around in a duffel bag, putting her in the freezer, putting her in the... In the uh, tiles above the, 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 in the roof, in the, in the closet, in the apartment. Is, is he going to get up on the stand and just speak his piece? Because that's going to be his only chance to do it. No, no, absolutely not. Um, what's going to happen is that we, he was right that he, he didn't want to be sentenced now for the death of his daughter, which he was. Because in my experience, these even career criminals who are felons and not supposed to be in possession of weapons, they never get this large of a sentence. So he never knew where he was heading. So the judge did, in my opinion, sentence him ahead of time for his daughter. He maxed him out. Um, and so when, when it comes to the trial of the, the murder of his daughter, that was the most uh, horrendous um, story that was told about how he struck this girl, et cetera. I support him getting maxed out again. He knows he's heading towards that. So uh, when it comes to the second trial for the murder, there's nothing to say. If he's going to start screaming and, and trying to offer mitigators, you better start now. Because, Not even mitigators. Uh, How about getting up there and saying, I didn't do it? You, no, you he's think he's got sorry. the guts to do that? No, he does not. You could tell. You could look at his face. You could look the way he's presenting himself. He's still being unremorseful. Jennifer Brandt, it, it, it's difficult to uh, even look at this guy and, and you imagine what happened to that little girl. Uh, but today in court, very defiant. I didn't do it. I, I, I did not murder my daughter. It's one thing to say that at a sentencing. It's another thing to get up on a witness stand and face cross-examination and say that. You think he's got the guts? I think he's got the guts, Vinny. I think he, he wants to be heard, clearly. He, he hasn't had a chance. We've all been talking about him and what he did and his daughter and the horrific things that were said about it, but now he had his opportunity. He went out there. He decided that he's going to say he didn't do it. And I wouldn't, surely wouldn't put it past him to go on the stand and testify that he didn't do it and try to blame somebody else. Maybe blame Kayla, maybe blame something else, but he's not gonna take responsibility. And, and he's really got nothing to lose at this point. I mean, he's already, he's already in jail. He's gonna be there for a long time. So why not, right? I, I would expect that he's going to be consistent in his testimony if, he, if his attorneys allow him to testify. I would never hurt Harmony. Well, that's not what his uncle said, and that's not what his ex-wife said. And, you know, one is uh, a relative, the other is an ex, an ex is an ex is an ex.